Alright guys, well, thank you for participating today in our group lesson. I'll do introductions here for the camera. My name is Jim Menard. I'm the assistant golf professional here at Cedar Creek. Jean Marie Weisenberger, member. Barb Hagenbarth. Dave Hagenbarth, in vast need of improved golf game. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike Olson. <laughs> Alright, well so what we're going to try to do here is we got a four week program. Um, I know you guys are just getting back into the Wisconsin swing of things, so I thought it'd be a good time to just do a refresher on the fundamentals, um, sharpen up the game a little bit. Um, so we're going to do four different sessions. Um, today we're going to work on the full swing, and then we're going to have a session of bunker play, a session of chipping and pitching, and then a session of putting. So kind of work on the entire game. I'm going to give you some drills for each lesson and some practice assignments. Um, and some of the practice assignments you can do on the range or on the course. I know I think you guys like to kind of practice on the course more, so we can tailor it to what you guys want, like how you like to practice, because there's lots of different ways you can practice. So, um, as I said, today we're going to work on the full swing. So we're going to do a couple drills. Um, we're going to give you a chance to see your swing on video, and um, then at the and uh, again, we'll give you some practice assignments. Sound good? Sounds okay. good. All right, so I'm going to grab my club here. We're going to just do a review of the fundamentals. I know you guys know the fundamentals of the golf swing, but never hurts to get a, get a refresher. Um, so we're working on irons today. So if you don't uh, already have an iron, you can grab like a short iron, like an eight or a nine iron. So the first thing we're going to um, talk about is your setup with a with a short iron. Um, ball position, there's two schools of thought. Some people like to have the ball position the same for every shot and then vary up the length of their stance. And some people um, change the ball position. Um, I'm a believer in making slight alterations to your ball position um, based on the, on the club. So with the short iron, I like to see the ball about in the middle of your stance. But if you're used to having it more up inside of your left foot and you are hitting it well, I don't, I don't want you to make a change. But that's um, what I recommend to my students typically for a short iron is have the ball about the middle of your stance. And we're going to be looking at your posture. So we want to have um, good posture. So uh, butt sticking out a little bit, back fairly straight arms relaxed. So we don't want to be reaching too much and we don't want to be too much jammed in. We want to have nice athletic posture, kind of like a goalie in a ready position or, or like a shortstop. Get that nice athletic posture. And then the other thing we're going to work on is um, with your swing is swinging the club on plane. Um, some people, sometimes people get confused with what the, the term swing plane actually means. And how I would define swing plane is it's measuring the angle of your shaft throughout the swing. So um, if our club was like this, that would be a vertical plane. In baseball, we got a horizontal plane. In golf, we have somewhere in between. It's a, it's a tilted plane. And the idea is we want to have get back to about the same plane that we set up at address. Only our hands are just slightly forward at impact. Um, so the club swings on a nice, even circle, is the idea. What we don't want is there's, we don't want to have a, a plane that gets too flat, too horizontal, and we don't want one that gets too steep or vertical. We want um, something right in between, get that club swinging in a nice circle. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you a good drill to check your swing plane. Um, I got a couple of alignment rods here. Um, you can also use a shaft or another club. So you lay the alignment rod down. the other alignment rod as an extension 
branch area of your club. And so basically the lowest point of the club should always be pointing at this target line. So imagine this line goes all the way back and all the way through to your target. So my toes point at the line and now as I turn, see how the shaft is pointing at the line? If it was too flat it would be like this, if it was too steep it would be like this. So it should be pointing at the line, now it's parallel if you get that far. And then when we come back again it's parallel to the line and on through. So I'm going to set up some stations here and we can work on that drill. Uh, you could pause it for now.